Hello everyone, my name is Aditya. In this video, we'll see how to use an ESP8266-01 Wi-Fi module. So this is a very low powered, inexpensive and very compact board. It measures less than uh, 2 cm and then it's very low powered and uh, it's quite inexpensive. You can buy it for uh, less than 100 rupees. I'll leave the link in the description of uh, where to buy it online. So this is used to add a Wi-Fi capability to your Arduino project and also it can be used as a standalone device because it has its own microcontroller available inside so it also has a two GPIOs uh, which you can use to control the uh, devices uh, which are connected to this uh, you can uh, communicate it with the uh, help of AT commands or uh, using an Arduino IDE so we'll discuss uh, both the methods in this video so before that we need to see uh, how to communicate and uh, plug it in uh, for your uh, a laptop or a computer and uh, we'll also try to uh, use uh, both the methods that is uh, AT commands as well as uh, Arduino IDE to communicate with it okay let's get going so this is ESP826601 module Wi-Fi module so what we can uh, notice is that it doesn't have a USB to serial converter so we can't directly program this so to program it we need a USB to serial converter and then you need to make a small circuitry like this so this i have already covered in my instructable and hackster page you can uh, see that i'll leave the link in the description so today we are going to use a programmer specifically built for this uh, esp8266 you can buy this uh, online or in the market so i'll leave the link in the description of where to buy it so we can directly plug our uh, esp8266 on top of this just like this and then you can directly plug into your computer or laptop to program so one thing is that uh, we need to do a little modification uh, because uh, while uh, programming the ESP8266 we need to uh, short the ground and uh, GPIB0 pin. So to do that what we can do is we can either solder these two pins the GPIB0 and the ground pin or we can just uh, insert wires on top of this just like this. and then insert the ASP8266 board on top of the wires so make sure that it is fitting properly and uh, it doesn't uh, short any other pins and while programming you can uh, directly connect these two and then insert it to the computer so once the modification is done you can just uh, program this uh, ESP8266 so there is two methods of uh, doing it so first method is by AT commands and second method is uh, by using Arduino IDE so we'll see both the methods in this video so for first method that is uh, AT commands you need to download an AT firmware on it before using that so out of the box when you buy it the AT firmware will already be there on the board you can just plug it in to your laptop or a computer and then uh, you can try to send uh, AT commands or uh, you can also download an AT firmware onto it we'll uh, see how to do it so first thing is that you need to download an uh, ESP flasher to do that so for me I am using an XTCOM util uh, software so I'll uh, uh, give the link in the description uh, where to download this uh, software and you can uh, use that to download so once you download that uh, you will see a lot of bin files dot bin so this, these are the uh, firmware that uh, we are going to flash it onto our uh, board so this is an older version of the firmware you can also download a newer version in the community page but as of now they have uh, stopped uh, support for this board so that's why i'm using an older version of it so you can also try with a newer version on their community page so okay so once you download that uh, download this esp flasher then uh, unzip it and you will see the following files go to xtcom util double click on it and you will find the xtcom utility software open so once it's done so just plug this uh, two wires together and then plug it on to our port so once you plug it go to tools and config device and select the right com port so for me it is a com port 5 so i'm using com port 5 
so one more thing is that uh, you need to try to uh, put in put the uh, insert the ESP8266 with one of these uh, six COM ports if possible because uh, somehow this XT COM utility doesn't support uh, COM port greater than COM6 so once you plug it in so select the COM port and then select the baud rate so for me I have uh, already flashed it uh, so I'm using a baud rate of 9600 uh, you can use uh, one, uh, one double one five to double zero if you are using it in the or for the first time. So once you do that, click on open and you will see operation succeeded. So once it's done, so try to connect it. Just click on connect, and you can see that uh, it is connected at the second time. So sometimes this doesn't connect uh, for a long time. So for that, uh, you can uh, try to plug it out and then in uh, reinsert onto the port and then do the same process so once that is done click on ok then go to api test and then uh, you can uh, go to flash image download so to see which image to uh, flash on the which address you can go to readme file here so once you go to readme file you will get to know which address to flash so select the correct one so go to browse and select uh, first is a uh, boot v1 so select that and then uh, select address as uh, all zeros because it's all zeros then click on download so as we can see that it's downloaded and operation is succeeded so you need to do the same process for all the bin files so for that what you need to do is you need to plug it out and then uh, you need to reconnect and then reopen this xtcom utility so that's uh, one thing that we need to do this is important to plug it out and then uh, plug it in every time you do this for each of the bin files so we'll flash it one by one and see and come back once it's all done okay so this is the last one go to this open e and then download the last file so once you download this file you can uh, start using the at commands so for using that you need to close everything then open a blank sketch on Arduino IDE go to tools and select the right COM port so you, you don't need to worry about the board you can select any board but the thing is the right COM port so select the right one for us it's COM5 and then what you do is just uh, plug it out open the wires and then uh, replug the board and once you replug go to serial monitor and then choose the baud rate as 115200 and then you can try to send the AT command so the basic AT command is just AT just type AT and send you will get an OK response so that means your AT command is working fine now you can use the AT command to communicate with the board so different AT commands are available on their uh, website I'll leave the link in the description you can uh, use this uh, to uh, set up your board as a station mode or uh, you want to do any Wi-Fi configuration you can do that with the AT commands so I leave the link in this description you can uh, check this out so as of now uh, we have tried AT so we can try one more command that is uh, GMR to read the version just select AT plus GMR and uh, sorry AT plus GMR and you can see the version so that's it for uh, using the AT command so now we'll uh, move on to uh, flashing it with Arduino IDE so note that uh, once uh, we do this uh, flashing with Arduino IDE so you will not be able to use the AT command because uh, for AT command you need an AT firmware so that's it so now we'll move to the uh, second method Okay, so we'll see how to program this uh, ESP8266 with the help of uh, Arduino IDE. So go to Arduino IDE and go to Files, Preferences and in the Additional Boards Manager, you need to type in this uh, URL. So I'll leave this link in the description, you can check that out. So once you do that, then uh, go to Boards Manager and type in ESP8266. So we will find the first board which is uh, ESP8266 by uh, ESP8266 Community. So you can uh, install this so once you install this then uh, go to tools and in boards select uh, 
under ESP8266 you can select the generic ESP8266 module or you can also use the node MCO firmware uh, this ESP12 or uh, you can use generic uh, I'm using generic now as of now then select this and then uh, you need to uh, select the right port so for that what you need to do is uh, first connect these two uh, wires that we had done the modification before and then uh, plug it in so once you plug in I will see red LED glows on the ESP8266 so once you plug in you will see a COM port displayed so for me it is a COM8 so select that and then uh, you can compile so uh, at the uh, initially for the first use it will take some time to compile so once uh, it compiled uh, you can uh, upload it so we'll try to uh, write a basic uh, blink program and upload it so this is a basic blink program so for me in this board uh, on pin number one uh, there is a uh, inbuilt led connected so it also depends on which board that you are using which version that you are using so you can try with uh, either 0 1 and 2 and whichever works for you so for my version uh, pin number one has uh, the led connected so i'm using one so define led pin as one and then make it output and then make it low for uh, one second and high for one second so for my particular board uh, it is active low pin so that's why i'm using low first and then high so now uh, once you uh, selected the right port then i uh, click on uh, upload so that will uh, upload the sketch onto your board so if you want to upload a second sketch i mean uh, if you want to upload another sketch so what you need to do is you need to plug it out and then again insert it back to upload the second time so that is uh, one thing that we need to do and one more thing is uh, we need to do a hard reset once it's uploaded so for that uh, you can either connect in the same fashion there is a reset uh, pin also so you can connect it with the same fashion or uh, easy way is to manually do a reset by just plugging it out and then uh, replugging it in so as we can see in the output monitor that uh, it has completed 100% and then once it's uh, once we can see the done uploading button you can do a manual hard reset by just uh, plugging it out then removing the wires and then uh, plugging it in so once you plug in you can see that our uh, program is working and you can see that the LED is blinking so this is a basic blink program so in the part 2 of the video uh, we'll uh, try to do a simple uh, IOT example where we can control this uh, LED uh, using an external web browser and uh, also we'll uh, try to develop a small application for your Android phone uh, where you can control this uh, LED over the internet so that will come in the part 2 of this uh, video so stay tuned for that and for this video uh, that's it for this uh, tutorial so hope you uh, like it so subscribe for uh, more such videos and we'll see in the next video thank you